probably the loudest champion in League, at least at the time I'm making this video. Fiora is amazing at both keeping far away when she needs to, and also engaging and gluing up to him if she feels like going for the kill. Her dodge the stun mechanic is also pretty easy to pull off versus Glad. Yasuo for the same reason, stay far and close at the same time, and because he'll be able to break the tether with his dashes pretty easily, and Renekton with his dashes and stun make really good counter as well. Jax for his small leap, Nar for his small jump, and Chen for his small dash all make other good counters too. Glad's passive has a huge tax associated to it. He mounts a little critter called Skarl. His abilities change when he's mounted and unmounted, and you deal damage to the lizard before dealing damage to him. His passive makes him gain courage points when he's unmounted, and that will call Skarl back to him when it's full. When he's mounted, his Q will make him throw a rope that attaches to his enemy, even when it's cast through minions, and it will fire a pistol, throwing him back whenever he's unmounted. His W only has a passive that grants his next four auto attacks extra attack speed and extra damage on the fourth one periodically, and his E makes Skarl charge a short distance, also shielding both, and will knock back an enemy if they strike him while charging. His ult makes him charge to a location and grants allies bonus movement speed in the area when he travels. In lane, he'll always try to Q you with his rope whenever he's about to frenzy his four auto attacks. Don't forget that he can hit this through minions, so minion blocking is out of use here. As for spells, Clads exclusively take teleport, because it's the one spell they can most benefit from. Like always, take teleport versus teleport, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. In terms of power spikes, he has one very big power spike and one very big counter spike, coining it right here. He gets a huge power spike whenever he gets Skarl, and especially if he's fighting you. But on the other hand, whenever he's without him, honestly, use that chance and jump on top of him. Just take a good look at the bar beneath his health and play around it. His level 2 is not bad at all and might engage with just his E and Q. Level 6 you might see him gank mid, and he'll build an early Tiamat to help him with clears and also for the auto reset. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, take the chance when Skarl goes away to blast him, fight him and keep track of his courage bar, and forget about hiding behind minions to dodge his pull since it really doesn't work. Ultimately, have fun doing it.